So today, I'm incredibly proud that we're going to announce our first two RDNA 3 graphics cards. The Radeon RX. <laughs> the Radeon RX 7900 XTX with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 and the 7900 XT with 20 gigabytes. So you can imagine, these are just incredible gaming cards. Next, I want to introduce you to our Radiance Display Engine, featuring the industry's first DisplayPort 2.1 and a high-performance gaming graphics card. This DisplayPort enables uh, 480 hertz refresh rates at 4K resolution and up to 165 at 8K. And the 12 color bits per channel enables an incredible 68 billion colors for amazingly realistic images and graphics. And with the display link bandwidth of up now to 54 gigabits per second, we have doubled that bandwidth per port over RDNA 2. And this supports the unprecedentedly high refresh rates at the highest resolutions. In support of the latest media formats and standards, we have a new dual media engine, and it supports two simultaneous encode or decode streams up to 8K60, or AVC and HEVC. It supports AV1 encode and decode, while also leveraging AI enhancements to improve video encoding and conference quality. And by greatly increasing the frequency inside the media engine, we delivered up to 1.8x the performance versus RDNA 2, reducing export times almost in half. Oh, we've been working on this for three years, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of hours in our engineering group. And I'm sure they're tuning in today, but I can't be more proud of what they've uh, been able to create for you and to create for us, and it's going to be a great time. So now, I know what you want to see, performance, price, and availability. Is that right? Do you want to see that? Yeah. Sounds good, but you're going to have to stay for a little bit to get availability and price, but I'll show you performance. I'll show you some performance. So today, 4K sets the standard where enthusiast GPUs are measured. According to IDC, in the last five years, there is three times increase in shipments of 4K monitors. And the Radeon RX 7900 XTX is going to be the perfect card to power your games at 4K. In pure rendering, the 7900 XTX is up to 1.7 times faster than our previous generation flagship GPU. And in ray tracing, we are seeing up to 1.6 times more performance in native 4K. What do you think? Wow. Now that you've seen the performance, allow me to introduce the Radeon RX 7900 XTX. Take a good look. We've spent a lot of time optimizing this car, but more importantly, making sure that you're going to be proud when you put it into your rig. Absolutely fantastic. This gaming card is built to provide exciting performance in 4K resolution and beyond. RDNA 3 based GPUs are like no other. It features 96 unified RDNA 3 compute units running at 2.3 gigahertz game clock, and it comes with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 with 384 bit support. This card is future ready with AV1 encode and decode for streaming and video export. And it has the latest DisplayPort 2.1 technology for up to 4K 480 frames per second or 8K 165 frames per second gaming capabilities. All, ladies and gentlemen, with a board power of just 355 watts. The XTX. Thanks, JP. Today, we are also announcing the Radeon RX 7900 XT, a massive leap in performance over the last generation. It features 84 unified compute units running at a game clock of 2 gigahertz and comes with 20 gigabytes of 320-bit GDDR6 memory with the same support for AV1 and DisplayPort 2.1. The 7900 series gaming cards are industry leaders in performance per watt. There is no need to rebuild your desktop, no need to upgrade your case, and there's no need for a new power adapter. Yep. We made it as easy as pulling out your old card and putting in a new one. Previous generation enthusiast GPUs, including those recently launched by our competitor, only support DisplayPort 1.4. Gamers who purchase these graphics cards will see limited frame rates. 
But with the RX 7900 series of GPUs, it'll allow you to actually see the frames you are paying for when you upgrade to a DisplayPort 2.1 monitor. If you are paying that much money for a brand new gaming card, you should demand a GPU that will allow you to game into the future. And only the 7900 series can give you that. And starting in early 2023, an incredible new generation of displays at a range of resolutions from leading display vendors will start rolling out to gamers, including this sneak peek from our friends at Samsung with their brand new Odyssey Neo G9, expected to be the first DisplayPort 2.1 8K, I'll say that again, 8K, ultra widescreen gaming monitor ever. What do you think? More details on the design and specs will be unveiled soon at CES in January of 2023. All right, so let's talk about what are we doing to help improve your recording and your streaming experience. OBS, as many of you know, is the leading video recording and live streaming platform out there, and it's used by some of the world's most successful and popular streamers. Well, we've partnered with OBS to improve video streaming quality across all bit rates on Radeon RX 6000 and 7000 series graphics cards. Additionally, with the new AMD RDNA 3 media engine, we've added AV1 hardware encoding, improving quality and transforming live streaming. In this example, we're looking at a recorded image of Halo, captured with OBS on the Radeon 7900 XTX graphics card. Both images were captured at the same 3.5 megabit per second bitrate. As you can see behind me, the quality of the stream and the text within it is visibly pixelated. But with the addition of our AV1 hardware encoding, updated pre-analysis and pre-filtering algorithms, plus our OBS optimizations, the playback quality substantially improves, providing a clear, sharp, and a smooth viewing experience. Additionally, with Xilinx AI and Content Adaptive Machine Learning Technology, we've integrated that into the AMD framework, and it's been trained to learn, predict, and target small text and menus, making them legible again, especially when streaming at low bit rates and resolutions up to 1080p. The new AMD RDNA 3 media engine reaches beyond streaming, though. With our dedicated AV1 hardware processing, video encoding is up to seven times faster than software, even at ultra-high resolutions like 8K. Support for the RDNA 3 media engine will be available across applications like Adobe Premiere Pro, FFmpeg, Handbrake, and in upcoming releases of OBS. And then for video creators, any video creators in the audience? Anybody create video? You're gonna love this. So we're introducing something we call Smart Access Video. Smart Access Video works with select applications when you pair the Ryzen 7000 series with the new Radeon 7000 series. And unlike other platforms that can really only make use of either your CPU or your GPU's video compression engines, Smart Access Video distributes the encoding and decoding workloads across both your Ryzen CPU and your Radeon graphics cards video compression engines, enabling faster 4K and 8K editing. And when it comes to batch transcoding, Smart Access Video reduces parallel transcoding times by nearly one third. Smart Access Video will be available across applications like OBS, Premiere Pro, FFmpeg, and more starting in December. Okay, are you ready? All right, what an incredible day of announcements that will transform the future of graphics in games. The AMD Radeon 7900 series, built for extreme performance to drive 4K and 8K high refresh rate gaming monitors, powered by the world's most advanced gaming graphics architecture, RDNA 3. Here we go. Starting December 13th, 2022, you'll be able to purchase the 7900 XCX for $999. the world's fastest gaming card under $1,000. Also on December 13th, 2022, you'll be able to purchase the 7900 XT for $899. $999 and $899, the world's most advanced gaming GPUs powering your gaming rig for years to come. That's the end of our show. Thank you for joining us today, and we can't wait to get these gaming cards in your hands in December. Have a great rest of your day.